morning, my dears. Hope you're all perfectly fine. Be aware of our situation now regarding coronavirus spread throughout the whole world. So, stick to the rules and stay safe at home. I'm the English teacher of grade 2, Miss Nuran Anwar. And now, we're gonna start our phonics and spelling section of lesson 11. Okay? So, let's get to our main concept. Base words with S or ES endings. Okay, let's conclude the idea. The words that ends with SH or CH or SS or X or Z. Okay, those we should add at the end of these words ES, not only S. Okay, as a plural and verbs. Okay, for example, the verb wish what's the last two letters guys oh yeah perfect s h okay if i say the girl wishes so this verb wishes ends with s only or e s oh yeah e s okay if i said now if i considered the plural form of words like for example box ends with X so we should add ES at the end of the word to make the word in the plural form right yeah so gonna be boxes okay the other part okay any other words that ends with consonants other than that we should only add s at the end and the words that ends with e already at the end we only add s okay like for example chocolate chocolate has already e at the end right so when i make it plural i make it chocolates right yeah okay and pen ends with n right so, I only add ES or S. Oh, yeah. S. Okay. Okay, guys. So, now let's see. Let's see number two. There are four flowers or flowers in the vase. Which form is right? Flowers that ends with only an S or flowers that ends with ES? Oh, yes, perfect, guys. The flowers that ends with only S, right? Because the word flower, does it end with SH? No. CH? No. SS? No. X? No, too. Okay. Z? No. Okay. Now we don't have to add ES at the end, right? So we only add S. Perfect. Okay. So, let's see the verb form that ends with S or E, S. Okay. Let's see number four. My cat likes or clams to play in the bushes. Can I say likes to play in the bushes or clams to play in the bushes? Oh, yes. Perfect likes to play in the bushes okay like to play in the bushes the verb like ends with e right okay so do we need to add es or only s oh yeah only s good guys that's why it's likes okay let's see another form that ends with es because it ends with SH or CH or SS or X or ZZ. Okay, so number seven, for example, my sister wishes or dress me in my birthday. So, huh? Yeah, wishes me in my birthday. Okay, why, guys, the verb? Wish ends with ES. Have you noticed? Oh, yeah. So, because the verb itself, 
the original verb, the base word of it, which is gonna be wish, ends with sh, right? So, when we change its form into a verb, we add es at the end, okay? By that, it became wishes, okay? So, we only add the s or es in the verbs like that only with the singular things like she or he or et. When I refer to a cat, I refer by et. When I refer to a guy, I refer by he. When I refer to a girl, I refer by she. Okay? Okay. Also, if it's only one animal like a pet, cat, or dog, or Sally as a name of a girl, or mom, or dad, or a name of a guy, which is Muhammad, Ahmad, whatever, okay? So, now let's apply in our reader's netbook. Page 155. Have you opened it, guys? Yeah, good guys. Okay, now let's see. Base words and endings with S or ES. Put the letters together to write a base word, then add the ending S or ES. Now, let's remember our rule, okay? So, the words that ends with CH or SH or SS or X or ZZ, okay? We add ES. Good guys, we add what? Yes, E-S. Good guys. Okay. And other things and other words that ends with whatever consonant like uh, C-K or K-T-N-O-R-M-D-G-Y-E-P. All of these. Okay. We only add S. Perfect. And if it's already ending with an E at the end, we only add what? Yes, yes, perfect guys. Okay, now let's try to answer our questions. Okay, number one, match. M-A-T-C-H, gonna be match, right? Okay, let's get its plural or the verb form of it when it's accompanied with a singular pronoun as she or he or it. Yeah, match. Okay, so we add, huh, it ends with CH. So we added ES. Perfect, guys. Okay, number two, buzz. Okay, it ends with, yeah, ZZ. Okay, so words that ends with ZZ, we add at the end only S or ES. Yes, perfect. We add ES. Okay, number three. G-L-A-S-S, -S, so gonna be, yeah, glass, okay, glass, okay, it ends with S-S, -S. okay, so, can we add only S? No, it ends with S-S, -S, so we gonna add E-S, perfect, so gonna be glasses, okay, number four, B-U-S-H, so, yeah, bush, so, it's plural for yeah, bushes. Okay, good guys. Five, hammer. So, gonna be? Yes, perfect. Hammers. Good guys. Okay. Hammers that ends with only S. Right. Okay. So, now let's see our second part. Now, use the words you wrote above to complete the sentence below. Okay. Number six. Dad, what? The nails into the wall. Okay, guys, dad, we refer to dad by which pronoun? Oh, yeah, he, right? Okay, let's remember the words that ends with, huh, other consonants, sh or ch or ss or x or zz, we add es, or other words that ends with whatever consonants other than these, we only add Yes, okay. Now, is it a plural noun or a verb form? Yeah, it's a verb form. Okay, so what 
does the dad do with the nails into the wall? So let's choose from the five points above. Dad matches? No. Dad buzzes the nails? No. Dad glasses the nails? No. Dad bushes the nails? No. Yes. So dad what? Yes, exactly. Dad hammers the nails into the wall. Good guys. Okay, let's see number seven. I drank two what of milk for dinner? I drank two, yes, perfect, glasses. Good guys. Okay, number eight. Today, my jacket, what my hat? Matches. Good guys. Okay, so today, my jacket matches my hat. Okay, number nine. My dog likes to hide in the, yes, bushes. Good guys. Okay, so let's see. Number ten. The bee, what? near the hive hive guys is the home of the bee okay so the bee what near the hive what is she what is it doing there oh yeah the bee buzzes near the hive okay got it guys okay now let's get to page 161 okay so write the word that goes in each sentence okay number one yes before we answer we should read our word bank okay so cedar okay fever later virus number one jack has a what that makes him sick jack has a cedar or fever or later or virus yeah virus good guys perfect okay so let's see number two mom says his what is very high yeah his fever is very high perfect guys okay number three you can sit with jack today said mom you can sit with jack later today good guys perfect okay so number four i'll warm up some what for both of you said mom i'll warm up some cedar for both of you said mom cedar is kind of a tea okay so i'll warm up some what guys cedar for both of you good guys okay so number five this is our second part in the page write the words that make up each underlying contraction do you remember the contractions guys okay let's take a small review number five i won't have lunch with sam today say jack want is a contraction of two words huh, which they are who remembers yes perfect well and not good guys well not perfect guys okay so number six i'll tell sam you miss him jack i said so huh yes exactly i'll gonna be I and will. Perfect, guys. Okay. Okay, let's see number seven. You're a good sister. Say, Jack. So, huh? Yes, you are a good sister. Say, Jack. So, our contractions are you and are. Good, guys. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's get to page 167. Okay, have you opened the page, guys? Okay, okay, so let's see. Proofread the newspaper story. Circle the nine misspelled words. Then write the correct spellings. Okay, now let's see. Let's read the title first. Wishes come true. 
Oh, guys. Is the word wish ends with only S if it's plural? Oh, no. It ends with what? E S. Good, guys. So, you can write wishes, which is number six in our spelling words box. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see. Mr. and Mrs. Smith kept birds in a pen. Saturday, they rode their bikes. Then they checked the pen. Oh, guys, bikes. Yes, perfect. Okay, bike ends with E, right? As a base word. Okay, if we made it plural, so it's gonna end with what, huh? Yeah, gonna end with S, but we won't cancel the E at the end, right? Right, so it's gonna be B-I-K-E-S, right? Yes, good guys. So we're gonna write bikes, which is number four in the spelling words box. Okay, let's continue. Then they checked the pen. They found only empty boxes. Okay, guys, the plural of boxes, does it have double E? No, why? Yeah, because the base word only has three letters, right? Which they are B, O, and X. It doesn't have E in its base word, right? So, we add, yes, E, S, because... Yeah, it ends with X. Good, guys. Okay, so boxes. Okay, so we're going to write boxes, which is number five in our spelling words. Okay, so let's continue. I wanted to ring alarm bells. Okay, guys. The plural of bell. We add Z and we cancel the L at the end, which is doubled. Oh no, because the base word of bell is B-E-L-L, -L, right? So when we make it plural, we only add S. Good guys, perfect. Okay, so which one are we going to choose? Yeah, the one which has the letters B-E-L-L-S. -L good guys, which is number nine in our spelling words box. Okay, good guys. So let's continue. Said Mr. Smith. I wish that we would find our birds. When they went inside the house, they found the ducks sleeping on Mrs. Smith's dresses. Okay. Ducks, guys. The letters of the base word changed. Okay, let's see our base word here. D-U-K-S. Is that true? No. Yeah, the base word of duck it's D-U-C-K, right? Yeah. So, duck, we only add E-S or S? Yes, S. So, the mistake here is in the base word. Right. Good, guys. Okay. So, we're going to choose, yeah, number three in the spelling words box. Good, guys. Okay. Now, let's continue. Yeah, you noticed. Good, guys. Okay. So, Mrs. Smith's dresses. Perfect. The base word of dress has doubled S at the end, right? Before the added ES. So, it's gonna be dresses. Double S, then ES. So, which one? Yeah, number seven in the spelling words box. Good, guys. Okay, now let's continue. And the hens had laid eggs. On her new dishes. Okay. Yeah. Who gonna notice the first one? Yes, perfect. Hands doesn't end with Z in its plural form. It ends with S. Perfect. Okay. And that's gonna be number one in our spelling words box. Okay. Then, huh, laid eggs. Yes, the base word of the word. Egg has double G at the end. Good guys. So, it's gonna be number two in the spelling words, which has the letters E, G, G, and S. 
perfect guys okay the last one oh yeah dishes okay do we add the is to the base word that ends with sh to get its plural no yes perfect we add what es perfect guys okay good guys and that's gonna be number 11 in the spelling words box okay good guys okay now let's see number 10 unscramble the letters to spell a basic word okay so number 10 what is the most close word for this collection of letters huh yeah grapes good guys okay and let's choose for 11 huh what is the most close word for this collection of letters yes exactly names okay now this is the last word that we're gonna choose from our spelling word box number 12 huh this collection of letters can get which word from the spelling words box oh yeah stamps which is number 10 in our spelling box good guys okay perfect you're all perfect today okay so now we've come to the end of our session today so don't forget to do your homework which is gonna be 164 and 158 and 157 in our reader's notebook and of course our uploaded sheet see you soon safe and sound and hope you're all perfect <laughs>